guys so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make this kind of handle so if this is something you would like to see stay tuned to the channel and let's go straight into the tutorial So guys, in making of this handle, the first thing you're going to get, of course, is your template. So I am using a cardboard paper here for my template and it measures 12 inches by 2 inches in width. You can reduce the length, but the width has to be 2 inches. You can reduce the length and um, increase it, but the width has to be two inches so the first thing that you're going to go ahead and do is to measure two inches you measure two inches and you make your line then after you measure that two inches you are going to go ahead and um, divide that two inches into two that is you're going to go ahead and get one inch so after you mark your one inches the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is to divide the width into two which is one inches then you make your markings then you now make your slant to get to that 1.5 inch sorry that to get to that one inches that you mark this way so you get your curve you make a slant like this sorry then now the next thing you're going to go ahead and do now is to now divide this other um this other one inches into two so you're going to remove half inches on both end please I don't know whether what I'm explaining is correct, but at least you can see what I am doing. So you get half inches on both ends like this. So that is what you are going to be using to make the second slant like this. Then you, you now make the slant like this. Then you make this other one like this. So I'm just trying to, so that you'll be able to see how easy it is to make. So after you make your slant like this, the reason why I got the middle is because I I want to be able to, you know, recreate the same shape on the other side without cutting it over. So you go ahead and extend the half inches on both ends like this. Then you make your straight line. Then you go ahead and um, cut it out. So thank you guys for tuning in to the channel once again. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. I love you and God bless you. And if you are just tuning in to the channel for the very first time, please do well to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new tutorial. Because on this channel, I have many more amazing tutorials to show you guys. And I assure you, you wouldn't want to miss out any. So in order for my my shape to be equal, I decided to fold it into two like this. It's a cardboard paper and it's very, very easy to fold. <laughs> so then you go ahead and use your scissors to cut out the, the shape. So guys, after you're done cutting, this is what it's going to look like. Now, the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is to wrap it with your leather. Please, when you are wrapping it, make sure you cut a leather that is um, wide enough to fold it over. You know, you are going to be cutting a leather that is around 4 inches or 3.5 inches wide. So that when you wrap it, it will roll on it like this. Then when you are done, the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is to just get the top, the top part, that part that is open. Then you just um, cut it off. Then you put your gum. Then you are going to gum it on that remaining open part. But if you want, you can cut an extension that is very long, no problem. But me, I just decided to do it this way because it's way easier is way easier so next thing you're going to go ahead and do is to just go and give it a top stitch and that is that basically everything about how to make the handle now on attaching it on your 
bag i have already made my markings if you're familiar with my tutorials you will know that uh you will know how to make your markings on the top part of your bag all you need to do is you just get the middle and just poke this one inches fabric on it in it like this then you put your handle and just put it in the other side so please make sure it's not too tight and make sure it's not too strong so that you'll be able to flatten the handle and you'll be able to stretch it out freely so you go ahead and put your super glue to hold the fabric in place and what you do for one side is what of course you're going to go ahead and do for the second side and um that is like basically everything about this handle it's very very simple right yeah i know you see the way it came out so the only place that there's work is when you are doing <laughs> the pattern drafting and this is the this is how it came out it looked beautiful honestly and i am going to be sharing with you the tutorial on how to go about the overall bag so please stay tuned to the channel and um, see you guys in my next one